everybody this is blue mic 155 I'm gonna show you how to make your own custom um, signature that you'll be able to put on your form or any other place you that's able to um, play signatures on so first step is to open up Photoshop I already have one open and for example right now this is a signature I was making right before the video so I'm gonna just remake the signature and down here on the link below this is www.mikey18.com I mean mikey18.deviantart.com there I have a whole gallery of my recent artworks and such that I've made on Photoshop I think you should check it out it's really cool but anyway you might want to start off with a uh, alright let me just cl close this for you minimize that minimize that come up to file new now the width and height can be anything you want you could be 600 by let's say 300 but you know whatever pleases you and make sure the resolution is 300 just to get the best quality press ok now you come up with a, a white box this white box is where we're going to start off our signature so what we're going to do or what I would like to do how I like to start off my signatures is to give it a little gradient give it a nice touch to it next you're going to want to come over to window select layers and your layers palette will come up now select um, new layer, click it twice. You now have two layers. We're gonna start off with layer one. In layer one, we're gonna add some designs. I like this one, so we're gonna place that. And over here, the foreground is gonna be white, so you just paste that anywhere. But you know, don't overdo the brush. Just like make sure it's different patterns and different patterns and such, so it doesn't look like you're just killing the brush now. Um, let's see what else. What else? What else? Okay, cool. Just gonna add this little effect here. Okay. Now select like it. We're gonna hide this layer and select layer 2. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is switch the foreground to background or just pressing D or X key just to get a little maneuvering, maneuvering around it. Then, what you're gonna wanna do is change up the brush. So, we might want the brush to be like this and just splash that on there. Just different ways you could do this. Doing this is like creates a whole variety of different patterns and looks that you could give your signature. So what we're gonna do now is come over to layer one, unhide it, get that select um overlay so it's behind it. And then if you want you can right click and then merge them so it becomes one layer. And just drop the opacity just a little bit so it doesn't look like the brightness is just killing your eyes. Next, we're gonna wanna add a photo. Come up to File or Control Open or Command Open for the Mac. And then select a picture. I'm just gonna choose a random picture. Let's say Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is cool. Now he's already in a transparent layer. So let's say if he wasn't and you didn't know how to take Mickey Mouse out of that transparent layer. Well, what you're going to want to do is say he was all in a white background. Right? What you're going to want to do is come over to here and select the magic wand tool. Then just select the areas that you want to um, select. Then click the backspace button. Now he's in the transparent layer. Now I select the move tool and just drag Mickey Mouse. Wait, before we even drag Mickey Mouse, I forgot to tell you that one step. Oh no, matter of fact, yeah, drag Mickey Mouse to the um 
the artwork we have. Now, the best thing to do is to select um, his layer and right click and convert to smart object. Converting to smart smart object is um is a good way to keep Mickey Mouse um shape when when resizing. So I'm just take the little spot out. Oh, wait. That's another thing I want to add. If it's a layer, it's in, um, uh, smart object, then you might have to rasterize it to edit it. So I made a little mistake here. So what I'm going to do is magic wand, delete, then convert it back to smart object. Control D to deselect, and then. Control T to transform the size and enter to confirm. And add your have that. Let's add text. Of course, I'm gonna add text to my my Deviant Art link. Mickey eighteen dot Deviant Art. You can just drag it, all command T to control and change its size. And there we go. Now, if you don't like the coloring of that, you can always go to your styles panel and change the style. Red, it could be either color you want it to be. Now see, I kind of like that one. That one looks nice. And that's how you can make your own custom signature. Now there's more, way more steps that you could do. I just made an easy, basic thing for the beginners or noobs out there that just want to create a basic signature for whatever, for whatever reason. Now for Mickey Mouse, I'm going to show you a little trick. Mickey Mouse, you can just go to overlay and have them blend into the background so people that like to have their pictures blend into backgrounds that's a good way to do it and you can have a variety of different things you could do with Mickey Mouse you could just switch through the blending options or have them black and white I'm gonna just keep them black and white that looks nice and if you want you can make a copy of them and just drag them out like that and put that copy behind layer 2 right and then make the opacity just a little bit low so it looks like he's had that fading effect can you see that? The fading effect and now you have your own custom signature and what I would like to add, I made a little custom ball thing that represents Mike's designs. Mike's designs is, well, me making cool little graphic artwork on Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is create a little, a new layer, and resize this, and just paste. Think of it as like a little copyright thing that there or you could just undo and just paste again and there you go Mike's designs I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on this very easy and basic tutorial on how to make a custom signature and um, please comment if you have any comments or questions please ask me and Thank you for watching. Please visit my link at mikey18.deviantart.com and check out my gallery. I hope to see from a lot of people soon or hear from each and every one of y'all. And please comment my videos. Thank you.